Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, well, I was going to say the Yummy Arts Kitchen. We were actually at the Cake Cottage, Susan Carberry's Cake Cottage here in Murrieta. Yay! <laughs> and this morning we're going to welcome Peggy Tucker. Yay! She's going to show us some isomalt techniques and a bunch of really cool stuff. Look at all the cake toys you have. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, Peggy Tucker. <laughs> this is my shout out to my friend Susan. Thank you, girl. This is my shout out to Yummy Arts. Thank you very much. Um, we are actually going to have a fabulous time as we go along. We're going to be learning a lot of different techniques. Jump in at any time that you might like to ask a question. Um, I'm going to ask that you kind of keep it to what we're doing here today. If you want to know when my birthday is, you know, my favorite sh store that I shop at. Just email me, I'll get you all of those questions. If you need to know something about Susan, email that. So what I'm starting with right now is, part of this is the under the sea cake. And it has, understand, there's not a beach theme. This is under the sea. We are going fishing or swimming with the fishes down there. And so we have to make quite a few pieces and one of them is coral. And there's a couple ways to do it. So right now I'm prepping to be able to show you how to do it with ice. So I have my cake play isomalt, little nibs, and I'm heating them in the microwave. And I'm going to use three different colors to be able to create the um, overall look that I want of my coral. So I put the nibs in just like you saw them. This was in there for a minute and 50 seconds, and it comes out just like that. So I have that color, and then I'm going to add a little bit of a clear to it as well. And if I wanted to, I could actually go and add some pearl, which makes it really pretty. Quick question. Yeah. Where do we get this uh, lovely stuff? The Cake Play? Yeah. Oh, you That's... just have to go to cakeplay.com. It's right on their website. Oh, and by the way, their website also has 12 different videos walking you through how to do it step by step. Or you can come right here to Susan Carberry's Cake Shop, the Cake Cottage, and buy it because she carries it as well. All right, so I've got my purple ready. I'm going to make the um, pearl. I have that one cooking. So I have an aluminum or stainless steel container. You want one that's high enough so that we can fill it with the ice inside. Now we're gonna give it a little prep work. We're going to take a little bit of Crisco. You can use a vegetable shortening, anything that you need. And we're gonna go in and we're going to coat the entire inside of this container. So just give it a really good coat all the way around all of your edges. And that's going to keep the hot isomal from sticking to it and making your life miserable and calling me. Then we're gonna take a little piece of paper towel, take it in and just kind of move it around a little bit. Make sure that all of the edges got covered. Once we've got that done, we do a little cleanup, which is drop this up out of the way. And we have our ice. Now, I have found that the ice that we want to use is not so much the uh, crushed ice. I like these ones that are the crescent shape because of the way that it flows down and around it. Got that one ready. Going to get my blue now. Now remember, all I did was to that one was my clear, and you watched me add pearl to it. So this is now that. So Ooh. I'm going to start that. And the reason I do that is because um, I like the color of the, the, the pearl with the blues and the purples um, for the cake. So I have that crushed ice um, melts really fast for when you're pouring the hot ice and melt over it. So your thicker cubes usually work the best. These are just little crescent ones. I like them really well. All right. This makes a little bit of noise. Everybody into the pot. There we go. That goes down there. No, there's not even a garbage can down there. You're just putting down the floor. All right, so this is what we have then, okay? We have a bucket. Please do not use a plastic. Use a metal of some kind, and that's going to be your very best bet. 